The U.S. on Saturday carried out strikes against Houthi targets in Yemen, according to the U.S. Central Command. These actions are going to protect freedom of navigation and make international waters safer and more secure for the U.S. Navy and merchant vessels. This report has more details. U.S. forces late Saturday kept off a four-day flurry of air strikes against Houthi rebels in Yemen, targeting Houthi anti-ship missiles, ground vehicles, and other weapons and material the group has used to wreak chaos on commercial shipping in and around the Red Sea. U.S. Central Command said that it hit Houthi positions on four straight days, marking one of the most intense periods of strikes on the Houthis since the American counterattack campaign began a month ago. On Wednesday, CENTCOM said it struck multiple Houthi and ship cruise missiles and Houthi mobile land attack cruise missiles each of which was preparing to launch against ships in the Red Sea. CENTCOM identified these missiles in the Houthi-controlled areas of Yemen and determined they presented an imminent threat to U.S. Navy ships and merchant vessels in the region. These actions will protect freedom of navigation and make international waters safer and more secure for U.S. Navy and merchant vessels. A day later, CENTCOM launched at least seven separate strikes against Houthi targets. And late Saturday, CENTCOM said it took out Houthi surface vessels and anti-ship missiles just before they were launched towards ships sailing through the Red Sea. The Houthis have launched about 40 attacks on commercial and military ships over the past several months. Houthi leaders have said their campaign is retaliation toward Israel for its war in the Gaza Strip, through many of the ships targeted seemingly have no connection to Jerusalem. The U.S. and Britain responded to those attacks on January 11, with the first round of strikes on Houthi positions in Yemen, where the Iran-backed rebel group controls much of the country, including the capital Sana'a. The ongoing airstrikes are representing a threat, not only to Yemen's economy, but to the world's 